TV producer David Percy has spent years examining the photographs. He's convinced he's found evidence of a hoax. The Apollo photographs are faked. They're encoded also with what appears to be deliberate mistakes. He claims there are continuity errors between the photographs and the TV images. In this example, the astronaut jumps into the air and reaches the peak of his jump. His colleague takes a snap. There is a triangle of fabric that should be absolutely secure and motionless that has flapped up from the top of the portable life support system. In the TV freeze frame, we can see this triangular flap is correctly fastened and is therefore not visible. It is not flapped up. But is this evidence that the moon landing was filmed in a studio? Now, looking at this picture, the rock over to the left of the screen has the letter C marked on it. Why should there be a letter of the English alphabet stamped onto a rock on the moon's surface? Surely we are looking at the deliberate planting of props in a pre-designated position in the foreground of a photographic film set. It is said that for every hour spent in space, five hours were spent rehearsing on Earth. Of course they did that, and that was no secret. It was no secret that photographs and films were taken of models of the lunar surface. It worked as a simulation. Nobody else had been there. Nobody knew the difference. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. It's worth noting that during the Apollo 11 mission, NASA omitted to get any photographs of Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. All the shots are of co-pilot Buzz Aldrin. Would NASA have made such a PR blunder if everything had been staged in a studio? The search for conspiracies is the search for explanation. And in many cases, in many mysteries, a conspiracy is a, is a very plausible first hypothesis. You then have to look beyond that and find out what really happened and research, talk to people, talk to technology, see what was, what was physically possible. How is the quality of the TV? For any hoax to succeed, you must control access to the information. Now, there were several hundred thousand men and women who worked on the Apollo machines. And for all these people to have worked on the hoax and not come forward means that they probably had to have been killed. You couldn't kill that many people and keep it hidden.